All right, Virgo, welcome back. <laughs> I'm trying to be a little bit more exciting. Hi, guys, welcome back. I am Kelly. This is my channel, Virgo only. Virgos only, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Um, yeah, welcome back, you guys. Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, this is going to be your love reading, of course, for the rest of September into October. We're going into Lib well, we're in Libra season. All right, you know what, you guys? Everything you need to know, personal readings, links to decks, all that junk is in the description box below. So just go on down there and peruse everything you need to know there, and let's jump in, okay? So Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take a fit, leave the rest. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, let's get in here. Um, so just so you guys know, sometimes I kind of uh, lurk in the chat and I just want to give a shout out to some of my awesome uh, people. Uh, you guys, Melly, Haley, Orist, and his Cursed Baby Pizza. And let's see, Jose, hello. Who else is in that chat? Let me think. Oh, hello to all the mods, of course. Queasy and Brittany. Um, let me think. I think Bri, B-R-I is in the chat. And I know there's a whole bunch more of you guys. <laughs> and uh, I'll try to think about, I'll try to remember everybody's name. I'm not all that great with names, but you guys show up so much. And I just wanted to give you all a shout out. And I'm going to start giving you guys more shout outs. If I didn't call your name, just pop in and you can get one from me. Hooray! All right, you guys, look, you have cassette, outdated thinking, conditioning replaying events over and over and over in your head well isn't that just a virgo thing replaying that shit over and over in your head why isn't this showing up come on now um yeah like a like a it's like cassette right cassette it's on loop you got something in your head something in your mind that's on loop keeps going keeps going and you just, Virgo, I feel like you need to stop this. Whatever this thought process, this could be negative thinking um, or replaying events. Some of you are looking at old text messages, you're analyzing, you're trying to, or you're looking at a message that somebody sends you and you're like, what the heck does that mean? Why is this person doing this? Why are they seeing this? The whole nine yards, okay? It's time to throw away that cassette player. It's 20, we're in the 2020s. Um, we're doing mp3s now and all that junk. We're not doing cassettes anymore. Okay <laughs> Some of you might be going through some old boxes and you're finding some old cassettes And when you were a kid and all that and whenever and you're just like up oh, it's out Some of you are holding on to some Some of you got that. Okay. Some of you getting a mixtape or you get received a mixtape from someone <laughs> Goodness a mixtape or a mix I guess they would I guess that's now just actually a term because it could be like or somebody sending you their playlist or sending you a playlist of their favorite songs maybe you're putting a playlist together okay let's keep going so sending right getting away from this cassette ain't, ain't energy so cassette is like old it's like old okay you're ascending you're getting away from it you're transcending some obstacles what are you transcending this outdated thinking okay um, you got some conditioning in your head. You might have done some self-conditioning, but it's like, it's not serving you anymore. Do you understand? It's the, these thoughts, this thinking, these processes are no longer certain. Now they're just residual. Okay. They're, they all, but some of these thoughts in your mind, Virgo, have already become a default you instantly go to that thought process, okay? So here you are transcending these these outdated thinking, this cassette, this loop that keeps going around and around is become an obstacle. You gotta learn from it, expand, and get a new tape. You gotta upgrade your <laughs> upgrade your radio system, upgrade your player. I don't know what you're doing, but you're preparing yourself for union. Okay, so what does this mean? Some of you, um, I still keep thinking from someone from the past, or maybe not romantically, some of you might be still kind of like trying to figure out why didn't that work out? Or why did that happen that way? Or what the heck, you know, what, what's going on? Okay. I feel Virgo for you. It's like, I see you in October. You're like, you know what? I'm not thinking about this anymore. Every time the thought comes into my head or I, this person, an image, or they're burned into my brain or anything like that, you're like, nope. I'm transcending this. I'm, I'm preparing for new union in my life. I have goals. I have dreams. There's things I want to do. Okay. So 
That's what I feel like is going on here for you. Okay. Yep. Love, unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, and attraction. So, you know, you may not be in this position right now. Okay. Some of you might be, but I feel like a lot of you are just like, you know, it's time for me to stop thinking about that person and start moving forward <clears throat> and start carrying my own heart and start loving myself. Okay. Cause I feel like whomever is on your mind is not in your life is out of sight, out of mind. Okay. So for some of you, you might be still looking at things about that person. Okay. Maybe you're spying on them or looking at social media, to see what they're up to. Or maybe you're looking at, um, like I said, old texts, or you're looking at old pictures. Um, some of you are like, I feel Virgo. It's time to let that go and enter in a new phase. I feel like spirit universe is trying to bring, like they got the door open right in front of you. And they're just like, come on, come on. And Virgo's like, hold on, hold on. I'm not done. No, you're done, Virgo. You're done. Put it behind you. Take that person, all their mementos, everything and anything that you have of that person and do a ritual, you know, put everything in a box. If you have any mementos or anything, or if you have messages and stuff, print it out. If you don't want to let go of anything, print it all out and delete it all from wherever your phones, some stuff, just throw in the trash, put it in a box marked the past and slip it under your bed or hide it up in your closet and move on from it. That's an actual, a physical thing. Okay. Now I'm going to take a look at another person here and see maybe it's this person. Okay. Okay. This person. All right. So they're kind of heartbroken right now. This other person. Um, I don't feel like they're in a relationship with another person, but I do feel like they are dating. Okay. Um, because they're heartbroken, they're trying to date. The most I feel like this person may be doing is receiving or giving kisses. Okay. But that's it. Or they're sending kissy emojis or something like that. This is all, this is all like, um, trying to regroup or recuperate their heart by dating others or, you know, trying to meet somebody new. They're trying to get themselves back out there, planning to set a date. Um, but deep down inside, this person is grieving the loss of a relationship with you and them. Okay. They're deeply, deeply hurt. Very sad. They're wearing a mask. They're faking it with everybody else. Okay. Um, they're in mourning and they're kind of like, like a zombie. <laughs> they're, I just, I just see this zombie this is after some kind of separation or breakup. This person is like, Virgo, I feel like you are, you're the one who's ascending here. You're doing a lot better. Okay. And I don't know what the breakup was or what the separation was or what might've occurred between you and another person, but I kind of get a sense that whatever it was, it needed to end. Something needed to, needed to end, needed to happen, needed to be done, you know? Um, and usually both parties, if it's not a mutual breakup, usually one is going to just get right back out there and, and date like a serial dater and break other hearts. Okay. Not get serious with anyone. And the other person is going to just go inward and say, you know what? I'm going to start doing me and make myself better. Right? So that's always the way it goes. And I feel like Virgo, you know, it could be reversed. So just take it as it resonates. You know, your story better than I do, but I feel like it's two people who have separated and they're going, they're, they're dealing with life very differently than the other, okay, than each other. All right, let's take a look. What deck do I want to use? All right, so let's see. So you're, you know, you're looking good, and this other person is trying to, like, recuperate their heart by either trying to get other people to give them affection or love and stuff like that. All right, let's see what, let's see what else is going on here, this person. And then we're going to take a look at you, okay. Yeah. This person's heart is like completely blocked. They're, they're basically, and I'm only going to go into this person for like a New York minute and that's it. This person is basically like all work and play, um, work, it, no deep relationships, nothing else. There's nobody else really because they're too heartbroken over you. That's what I feel like is going on here. They're, they're just, they feel lost without you as you're, as you're gaining momentum as you're ascending this, your person is descending and, and they're just like, 
all about the all about the coins all about the money all about they're not even committing to anything serious okay very blocked energy not letting anybody else in all right that sucks but it is what it is okay let's take a look at you all right and then we'll see what other messages are coming out here for you okay virgo oh, perfect there you are all right you and this person were a match i will tell you that there was a match there was a very strong connection or similarity between the two of you okay very similar things but something happened and there was a separation it might have been a tower moment or you know something just came down out of nowhere and caused some kind of a separation could have been a person place or a thing all right so virgo you're like uh-uh you're looking towards the future, making your plans, maybe traveling. You know, you're looking at the globe, looking at the map, like, where do I want to go? Where do I want to take my life? Where's my fate, my destiny? Okay, you're standing out there on, you know, looking at the horizon. And yeah, you're making some decisions in your life, Virgo, for yourself. And it's, it's really good. I feel like you, yep, maybe you and a friend, you're connecting with a friend as well could be an air sign doesn't have to be could be another virgo um you're connecting with another person there's a lot of truth there's abundance um maybe you and a friend are making plans to do something or do some things together i feel like it's same sex okay but it's um uh what's the word it's it feels like friendship okay um oh, the word just escapes me <laughs> not mutual platonic it's platonic okay this is like a um making plans making plans let me see what else is here okay yeah maybe you and this friend are just like wounded warriors here i feel like that's what's going on but like fighters nonetheless you know you're in the middle of the ring virgo you've been in the middle of like a, a huge boxing round you know, and you're like, rounds up, back to your corner, let me re-strategize, let me figure out what I'm going to do with my life, you know, you may feel like you've lost the battle, but you haven't lost the war in your life, and um, you're back in your corner, I feel like you're in your corner, and you're trying to, f and you know, like you're re-strategizing, you threw some punches, you threw some left hooks, didn't work, and now you're coming back with some right hooks, okay, you're strategizing your plan of attack, going forward in your life and this is great and it's all the majority of your plan attack comes from a place of self-love that's what's going on here for you and you're on a good path keep doing that whatever it is that you are doing you're starting new things in your life at this time keep it going every day persevere day in and day out consistency is how you will see these results whatever you're doing <clears throat> <clears throat> whatever you're building okay let's see what else does virgo need to know Okay. Yeah. Some of you are like sneaking away. You left somebody out in the cold. That's for sure. Um, and you're running away from any of this like bad energy. You're, you're, you're getting away. Okay. Again, strategizing, <clears throat> excuse me, how some of you are blaming yourselves for why a relationship ended. Okay. You know, um, I don't know if there's a cause that came from your end or it was mutual or whatever the situation is, but some of you are, I feel strategizing how not to be in a position to be abandoned or felt left out in the cold by anyone again. Okay. No, I don't feel like you are, you know, keeping your hands up and saying, I'm never going to fall in love again. I'm never going to accept love into my life again. I don't feel like that is, but there's a lot of healing. I don't feel like that is what you're doing, but I feel like there's a lot of healing happening for you, whatever it is. I don't know. Some of you might be, you know, look, maybe you're climbing a mountain or doing something like that. And it's giving you like spiritual insight. Some of you might be going hiking in the snow. There might be snow somewhere. Okay. Maybe in October, making plans to do that or going camping. I'm just hearing some camping energy in October. Okay. So you've got a King of Cups here. All right, let's see. That's the first court card. So, well, it's actually, no, 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 no. That's the third court card. What am I, the fourth? What the heck am I talking about? Whoa, hold on a second. King of Cups here. So who's showing up here? Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay, 
but we're reading for you. You've got a King of Cups here who's giving you the silent treatment and is pretty confident that this is going to make you return. It doesn't have to be a water sign. It could be any sign. But King Cups is generally a sign that is keeps their um, feelings, doesn't wear the heart on the sleeve, keeps everything quiet, deep down, okay, doesn't share. Um, they're playing this silent treatment game here, not saying nothing, being very passive, um, could be reaching out, but really not doing too much more than that. But it's this is like a... Um, you know, strength never comes across to, to me as like ego, but I feel like this person is super confident that if they don't say anything, you're going to come chasing after them or you're going to inquire. Wow. There's, there's the tower. That's what I was talking about. Yeah. There was some kind of Virgo. I feel like for you, and I, I posted this quote earlier today and let me tell you, and it's very true. And I was thinking about the tower when I was posting the quote. And I feel like this is where you are at this time in your life, Virgo. Energy can neither be created nor destroyed, only converted from one form of energy to another. So that's about redirecting your energy, okay? And I feel like, Virgo, what's going on with you is you have just redirected in your life. Like, you're not, I don't feel like you're cutting people out. I don't feel like um, you're, 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 you're just, you just turn the other way. Do you know what I mean? Like you may have just turned your back on people, places, and things or someone in particular or a relationship or something. You've turned your back on it, not because of hate or not because of fear or anything like that, but because it's time for you now. That's what I feel like it is. It's like your time. Um, so someone, if it, it may feel like you're giving someone the silent treatment, but it, I don't feel like you are. You're just like, well, there's nothing here. You know, there's nothing that we, it ended or something is over or just, you know, we just couldn't come together, couldn't make it work. And somebody here is, I feel like they're thinking that you're giving them the silent treatment. Okay. That's why over here, the four of, the four of pentacles, this is like blocked. Remember I said there's blocking. This person is deeply hurt, but you are not giving anybody the silent treatment. You're just focused on self, you know, um, <laughs> And they're confident that if they stay silent, that you're going to break and you're going to reach out to them. But I don't really feel like this is tit for tat. I don't feel like this is like a competition for you, Virgo. I feel like you're just like, no, I'm just loving myself. That's it. I'm just, I'm just taking care of, you know, and opening me, opening myself up to other opportunities that may come my way and attracting love into my life. That's what I feel like you're telling yourself. That's what I feel like is going on here. Okay, could be a Leo for some of you. Okay, yeah, look, you're building, you're building, you're building. You know, some of you might be buying a new home. You're putting like a ton of money in the bank. Okay, building your wealth, building your business, starting self-employment, you know, doing a lot of that energy going on. Working in real estate, some of you. Uh, working in the family business, increasing. I just feel like you're you're on the increase here in October. And this is the energy that's coming up. So yeah. Why? Yeah, because you're also heartbroken a bit. Maybe there was betrayal or an argument or cheating or, you know, third party. Um, it could have been like um, physical infidelity, romantic infidelity. It could have just been like people, places, and things that just tore a relationship apart could have been like something was in the center here that tore a connection apart okay a word that was said a, a deed that was that was done um or other other it's so third party like i said doesn't always it could have been for some it could have been work somebody might have been a workaholic and just you know implant and in, interjected that in between you and them in the relationship you know there's Two's, two's company, three's a crowd. Okay, there wasn't balance. The threes are not balanced. Okay, could have been family interference, whatever the situation. It just something didn't work here. And I feel like for you, you're like, no, you're strategizing and moving on, moving forward in your life. Yeah, 
You know, you're you're putting things out there and seeing what you could get in return and what's going to come back to you. Like you're you're boomeranging. <laughs> you know, you're you're boomeranging in October. I feel like you're going to be doing that, looking out onto the horizon. You know, making plans, communicating, working hard, putting your ships out there and seeing, you know, what they're going to come back with. Oh, look. Okay. Some of you want children, so you're really focusing on that in your life at this time. It's interesting. Okay. <clears throat> I got to tell you, though, Virgo, I mean, yeah, I, I do feel like there, this, because it's sitting here on this, this court card, the King of Cups or the King of Pentacles, or it could be a, an air sign, whoever, it could be a fire sign. I do feel like this person wants to reconcile with you, but look, you've got your back turned to that here at this time in October is where really what I mean. You're just kind of like, I don't think so. I think that there might be a better opportunities out there. Not that this person's an awful person, but you know, and you may have feelings for them, but it, it's, it's not the full, it's only the piece of the pie. And for you, it's like, no, I, I, I have hope and I believe that's where I feel like you're at. You have hope and you believe in October that there has got to be more out there in your life for yourself. You've got your back turned on a reconciliation in October. Okay. You do. And I don't feel like you are, you know, now maybe in November, maybe in December, you might have, something might change here, but during in the month of October, it's like, no, if that person's heartbroken, I mean, they're going to have to heal themselves. You know, you're doing what you need to do. If they're going in and out of relationships or they're dating and they're trying to, I mean, cover up their hurt and their pain. Um, well, that's their way of healing. That's how they're doing it. And it's got nothing to do with you. Let them go. You know, don't keep playing that mixtape. <laughs> don't keep playing that mixtape, Virgo. So as you guys know, it's going to be a little bit of a shorter reading tonight. But let me get some romance angels. I'll do everything that I usually do, but I'll just condense it a little bit more to like, I guess I have eight minutes left here. Let's see. Okay, it is safe for you to love, Virgo. Open your heart to give and receive all the highest energy of all. So in October, yeah, you will start feeling even better than you do now. Okay, you might think, oh, I feel great. No, you're going to feel even better in October on top of the world. I just saw, I just saw... Oh, I forget their names from the Titanic. I'm on top of the world. Okay, you've got a true love coming in here for you. You're going to meet your tr a true love. It may not be your only love, but it's going to be a true love connection. And you're attracting this person in October. You're attracting someone or you're being extremely attractive. You're not playing games, Virgo. If someone's giving you the silent treatment, you might have a, a water sign giving you the silent treatment. You might have an earth sign who's just blocking Okay. Um, these are all tactics. I feel that, you know, okay, well, if I ignore or if I not say anything, or if I just, just be very still and very patient or kind of hide out, Virgo's going to come looking for me. Virgo's like, I ain't looking for you. Uh-uh. Virgo's not looking for anybody. <laughs> Virgo's hanging out with Virgo's friends, sisters, family members, making plans for the future, making plans to get the holidays coming. Virgo's very happy. Yes. Or will be, you know, it's predictive. So in October, I feel like you're going to be good. Um, don't don't take the bait. Don't don't play games with anybody. If somebody's giving you a silent treatment, let them go enjoy it. <laughs> let them go enjoy it. Go have your silence. Go do what you need to do because you're living your life, Virgo. You're living your life. All right, let me see. What other messages here do you need to do? Hey, speed and travel. Oh, you're going to get some communication. That's interesting. Anger, no win situation in reverse again. All right. Oh, <laughs> okay. Hey, speed and travel. Yeah, there's some communication coming in. And I feel like, um, or you might be communicating with someone, someone new, someone you're attracting in October. Cupid's arrows coming out. Lots of communication with someone in particular. And it's joy. It's a win-win situation for you. I feel like you're, I, that was yesterday as well, wasn't it? Okay. Either I'm an awful shuffler or spirit's trying to tell you something. Uh, it might be a little bit of both, but whatever the case may be, I feel like you're on a mission, you know, it, in the sense of like, you're just not dealing with games. Okay. You're not dealing with that kind of stuff. Like, it's like, you know, 
somebody needs to talk if they have something they need to say they need to speak up and resolve the issue with you or you know move forward with you if not they you know they need to like dip out and get on with their life but i feel like there's a tactic here okay transition the end of the end of suffering is upon you out with the old in with the new virgo yep that's what's going on with you no one said it'd be easy or has been this season in your life is transforming and bringing you into a new hemisphere allow it to happen and go with the flow it's now time for change this is libra season okay this is what's going on then we go into sagittarius season things always shift but libra season is a time for you okay it's venus it's loving yourself and attracting love it's being it's being love okay you exude that when you love yourself everybody can see that you exude that energy it's beautiful all right let's get some signs and see who else could be showing up here for you all right gemini as always got a capricorn you've got an aries and a scorpio all right one more roll oh okay taurus virgo again leo twice all right now if you didn't call your person sign don't worry about it doesn't mean it's not your reading all right let's take a look real quick here let's see i'm gonna do something different i'm gonna see new person sign coming in new chinese sign new person chinese sign okay tiger so you're the tiger you guys okay this person could be a horse double tiger and one more a snake okay that's new all right new people and old who's this old person a rat is giving you a hard time pig dog ox double rat ox again pig again what the heck you got a goat hmm look at that just popped out love yourself first virgo your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive that's what i was saying okay you got a snake showing up also from the past rooster from the past now that could be the past it could be you it could be both of you and a horse okay a couple of charms and we're out all right you guys Let's see what other messages you got going on here i can't believe it's almost halloween i'm super psyched okay we've got a sea turtle oh <clears throat> and a peacock <laughs> okay we've got a sea turtle some type of connection to sea turtles Okay, sea turtles, they live for a very, very long time. Yes, 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 they do. Thousands of years, I believe. Somebody might have uh, a love for sea turtles, or maybe you have like turtle or sea turtle decor. There's something connected to a turtle, okay, for some of you. I don't know, maybe you save the turtles, or maybe you're part of like some kind of organization saving the turtles, or you have a turtle somewhere around you maybe a tattoo or somewhere in your house or just like a decal or something along those lines this peacock here this you virgo you're peacocking yep and if you aren't doing that right now maybe you'll be doing that in october where you're like flaunting your stuff i don't know what's going on with you what you're doing in october or what you've been working on in self but i see you out there flexing i see you flexing virgo you're flexing and because you you get that self-love i'm telling you and it's not that egotistical love it's not that i'm better than you it's this i'm better than i was before and i feel better and i want everyone to know and see and yeah virgo i, I know some of some virgos are just not like that i know some of you are not like that I know some of you are like, I am very humble. I don't like to do the bragging thing. And that is fine. You don't have to. You could just peacock to yourself. Look in your look at your look in your mirror. Talk to yourself. I am wonderful. I am amazing. It's called affirmations. You know, sh look at yourself. Look at your accomplishments. Look at how far you've come. And remember who you are. Okay, and I see you doing that. You can just peacock right to yourself. <laughs> or, and then there's others who are like, nope, I'm putting that shit all over social media. I'm doing this, I'm doing that. And whatever you got to do, I have no opinion. You do whatever works for you, whatever makes you feel good. You know, post that meal, post that delicious dinner, post that trip you're going on if that's something that you're doing. You know, even you don't have to be bragging about it or anything like that. Just 
it. Just live your life, Virgo. Be happy. I see that. Okay. Um, I do feel like someone's going to try to make a return to you. And I think if you missed yesterday's video, it was the singles reading. And there was also a, a general love tower reading after that. There's timestamps in the comments section. I did see somebody making a return around November 16th, I think it was. Um, that could be this past person. Right now, this is like a game. I feel like somebody's playing a game. I'm just going to keep silent. I'm not going to say anything. Virgo's going to break and Virgo's going to reach out to me. And Virgo's like, boy, bye. Girl, bye. I don't think so. All right, you guys. So I'm going to leave your reading there. I hope that you enjoyed that. Remember, I will get back to you guys with the show. Oh, you know what? Let me tell you something. Hold on a minute. I'm going to do something real quick here because my memory is just like I barely have a memory left. Everything is intuition at this point. But I want to just I feel the need to do this for you guys. Just hold on a second. I am going to give some of you guys it's my community oh. Where you can go. boop 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 all right here we go karma karen shout out to glenda shout out to steve b shout out to tnt you guys are like um you guys are like diehards you know terry let me see who else is here who else was here in the chat oh streamlabs what's up see all my regulars i think sanguine sapphire i think sanguine is kind of new who else is in here people that i see you you guys are like the diehards you're here every single night I, gosh i said pretty much i think i said just about everybody if you are new keep coming back i'll give you some shout outs as well persephone as usual, Persephone and I have the exact same date of birth. We are also the exact same uh, Chinese sign, and we are also the exact same rising, which is super, super crazy. Sophia is always here. Who else always shows up? Who else is always showing up? Oh, Scarlet. Hi, Scarlet. I know I see you all the time. Definitely. Sweetheart, Bella B. Hello, Bella B. Bella B said yesterday, I'm going to need that VIN number for sure. <laughs> Hilarious. I think Empress won. Self love is first. Let me see. Let me see. I know I've been seeing self love is first. You guys, just make sure, you know, join in the chat. There's such a good community. Everybody loves being with everybody here in the chat. It's just make friends, connect with everyone, and maybe one day I'll do a meet and greet. Wouldn't that be fun? We'll have a meet and greet. Maybe sometime next year, if you guys can travel, um, because I hate to tell you this, but I am not a plane person. <laughs> I probably should get back on a plane, but whatever. We'll figure it out. We'll do, uh, we'll do some kind of meet and greet next year. All right, after the holidays. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to check you guys out. That's for now. That's what I'm seeing for now. So, yep, shout out to everybody who keeps coming back. I love you guys. You're so awesome. I'll be back tomorrow with a little bit of a shorter reading from this because I just wanted to reach out to everybody. And, uh, yeah, have a fantastic evening, day, and I will see you all tomorrow. All right, you guys, take care. Bye.